Hello. Today in class we're going to talk about the circumference of a circle and what the circumference of a circle is. But first, let's remember how to find the perimeter and what the perimeter of a figure means. If I take a rectangle, then in order to find the perimeter of the rectangle, I have to add up all the sides, the lengths of all the sides. Since a rectangle has two opposite sides are equal, it's customary to denote the length by A and the width by B. And in order to find the perimeter, I need to add up the lengths of all the sides. And the result is the formula A plus B times 2. If I need to find the perimeter of a triangle, then I have three sides to the triangle. Side A, side B, and side C. And in order to find the perimeter of the triangle, I have to add up the lengths of the three sides, A plus B plus C. If we're talking about the perimeter of a square, in a square, the lengths of all the sides are equal. And so the perimeter is 4 times A. But if we need to find the perimeter of a circle, how do we find the perimeter of a circle? After all, I don't see any sides here that I have to add up. In math, the perimeter of a circle is called the length of the circle. And the length of a circle is calculated using the following formula. 2 times pi and multiply by r. Or pi times the diameter. This formula, when we need to find the length of a circle. If I take this circle, this circle here, I'm going to tear it and stretch it and measure it. That will be the length of the circle. But for a circle, there is a formula that we have to use in order to calculate the length of the circle. What are pi and r? r is the radius of the circle. It's the segment that connects the center of the circle to any point of the circle. That's the radius. So a radius. But what is the number p? Pi is a constant number. It's a constant. And this number is approximately three whole numbers. 14, 15, 92. 65 and so on. It's an infinite non-periodic decimal. And that's why it's very common for answers. Write this number pi without multiplying by this huge number here. But, where? Did we take this value for the number pi? The fact is that no matter what circle we take, the ratio of the circumference to the diameter will always be equal to this number, whatever the circumference. If I take this circle and count the length of the circle and divide by the diameter, I get the number 3, whole 14, 15, and so on. If I take a small circle and count the length of that circle and also divide by the diameter of that small circle, I also get that number. As a result, when we calculate the length of a circle, for example, if the radius of the circle is 5 centimeters, then in order to find the length of the circle, I have to multiply 2 by 5 by the radius and multiply by pi. You can write this answer as 10p or more commonly. For the number of pi in math, taking a number that's rounded to hundredths and then the number of pi would be 3.14 hundredths approximately 
and then the length of a circle would be approximately equal to 10 times 3, 14 hundredths. That's 31.4 tenths centimeters. The formula for finding the length of the circle we will use with you when solving the problem. And that's the end of our lesson. Goodbye. See you again.